So the first question for you both, uh, feel free to answer whoever would like to. American Christianity seems like a faith dulled by affluence and comfort. Is it possible for us in the U.S. to experience God in a similar way to the other stories that we heard today? And how could we do that? Well, I'm sure Francis would want to add to with his, a lot of his travel. I think there are two ways to look at it, Vince. Uh, that would be my initial take, as I've just heard the question. Uh, on the one hand, it's easy to come down hard, you know, on something like this. It's sort of a easy game and an easy target. But uh, there are two sides to that. The fact of the matter is, it is easy to get... Uh, too comfortable in what we have. It's not just because it's American Christianity, but it's the way we live in America. Uh, things are more accessible and actually in many ways more affordable. Uh, you know, talking about restaurants, talking about automobiles, talking about homes and uh, accessibility to all of the gadgets of our time. Yes, it is possible, but that's not just in America. That's possible in many parts of Europe as well. Uh, so it's easy to start climbing up the wrong tree and looking for the fruit on that tree and thinking you have all that you need. Uh, let me switch the metaphor a bit first and then get back to this. On the other hand, very few parts of the world today would really have heard the gospel the way they have it one for American generosity as well. Uh, that's really an often forgotten thing. Uh, I'm one of those who was blessed by the giving in Canada and the United States. I came to know the Lord in India, but there were missionaries from Canada and the United States there who reached my parents, who reached us. And that's because the people here have grown up with an attitude of giving. That's one of America's greatest gifts. Uh, in fact, sometimes a gift that's almost abuse. We don't even think to what it is we are giving. We just see a need and start giving without demanding accountability at the same time. So it's been a generous heart. Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Keith Thompson. And I want to talk to you guys about something that absolutely frustrates me when it comes to Rabbi Zacharias. Now, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you probably know that I'm not a fan of Rabbi. Um, I'm not I'm not saying he's not a Christian. I'm not saying it at all. Uh, but here we have Rabbi with Francis Chan on a panel discussion. And they're asked the question, Rabbi's up first. How can American Christians experience God more intimately? And that's an awesome question. OK. Uh, and Rabbi begins to speak slowly and he goes into basically <clears throat> everything but answering the question he goes into for about six minutes he talks about his life in india and he talks about when he came to america and how you know people were generous to him and it got to the point where after about like three minutes into it i had to remind myself what the actual question was because he had gone so off track it frustrated me so much i just wanted the, the answer and you can call me selfish but I really don't believe there's anything selfish in, in especially for, for believers who are desiring answers on particular issues or subject matter. You search the internet, you're searching YouTube, <clears throat> you're looking for people who are uh, renowned and profound and, and, and know the, the doctrines and the scriptures and are um, well respected in the, in the faith. And you're looking for answers and, and you come to this video looking for an answer and this man takes you on a six minute journey and at the end of the at the end of it, you still don't even have a, a, a concise, clear answer. Uh, and I don't know if he does this to kind of sound smart or intelligent, but it frustrates me. And I think that theologians should not do this. We should be concise, direct, and to the point, and biblical. Um, we should always be referencing scripture, and that's not one thing he did here. R.C. Sproul would have would have killed this. He would have nailed it. <clears throat> and basically, any of the other. Uh, the head men in the the reformed uh movement they would have answered it it would have they would have answered it under one minute 
they would have gotten right to the point and they would have gotten to scripture and it would have been clear okay it wouldn't have been this esoteric just i don't know what it really is what is he trying to say that that just frustrates me uh and i think it's a disservice to christians when you do that you listen you don't need to sound intelligent okay you just need to be biblical and you need to get to the point and it doesn't take six minutes you should have been able to answer this question in under <clears throat> under two minutes uh francis chan does a little better job answering it but th that's just and i'm gonna post a link to anyone that wants to watch this video but it just i don't that's the issue i've always had with rabbi it's he's just he kind of goes in a circle and it's like he's trying to make you look at it from a different view by bringing about things that don't even really have anything to do with the subject and uh and by the end of his talking i've, I've forgotten what the question is i've forgotten really what his point is <sighs> Maybe I'm the only one. I mean, a lot of people love this man. A lot of people love listening to him. I can't do it. I just, I just can't. Um, you know, now I'm not one of these people that, you know, are saying that Rabbi is not a Christian. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe the man, from, from what I know, um, even with the troubles he's had, I'm not going to go and say the man is not a true believer. But it just frustrates me frustrates me um with how he answers questions uh, and that's really all i want to talk about i think when we speak about um when we answer when we seek to answer questions it's important that we get to the point because like i said we don't want to confuse people and i think that's what he do, he does to me i don't know maybe you guys might get, get something different from it but for me it kind of confuses me and it, it makes it hard for me to Put a grasp on what he's really trying to say and answering the particular question so get to the point <laughs> that's basically all i'm trying to say and that's my frustration with the man just get to the point